supernova explosion to take the night sky all over the world. Prepare for a celestial display that might rattle the night sky across the planet. Astronomers are looking at Betelgeuse, the hot crimson supergiant star gracing Orion's shoulder, as a possible contender for the next spectacular supernova event in the Milky Way. Betelgeuse, with its center close, is fewer than 1,000 light years away from our planet. The difficult questions arise. How close is its cataclysmic metamorphosis, and will we, as Earth's residents, have the incredible opportunity to witness this amazing cosmic phenomenon? A supernova is the most massive explosion that humans have ever witnessed. Each blast is an enormously bright, super-powerful star explosion. A dying big star's last hurrah causes one sort of supernova. This occurs when a star with at least five times the mass of our Sun explodes in a spectacular explosion. Massive stars use massive amounts of nuclear fuel to power their cores, or centers. This generates a tremendous amount of energy, causing the center to become extremely hot. Heat creates pressure, and the pressure generated by a star's nuclear burning prevents it from collapsing. A star is held in balance by two opposing forces. The gravity of the star attempts to crush the star into the tiniest, tightest ball possible. However, the nuclear material burning in the star's core generates a lot of outward pressure. This outward push opposes gravity's inward compression. Betelgeuse, one of the most easily recognizable stars in the sky, is a star in the constellation Orion. Its vivid red color and conspicuous location have made it popular among both stargazers and astronomers. But it's the unusual behavior that makes it so appealing. Astronomers call it a variable star because it pulsates, expanding and contracting in size over time. Because of this pulsating, the star's brightness varies, making it one of the brightest stars in the sky at times and substantially lowering it at others. Betelgeuse has grown to be a true giant, with a diameter 1,000 times that of our Sun. If put into the center of our solar system, it would engulf the inner planets, including Earth, and extend all the way to Jupiter, its huge size and mass classifying it as a dying red supergiant star. Yes, the behemoth of a star is dying, but that wasn't what caught our curiosity in the first place, because stars die all the time. Astronomers are concerned about the darkening of Betelgeuse. The star had an unusual dimming event in late 2019 and early 2020, losing a significant amount of its brightness. This has sparked speculation and intrigue among scientists all across the world. Several suggestions evolved to explain the dimming of Betelgeuse, but one possibility stood out and was later confirmed by the Hubble Space Telescope. Based on Hubble data, scientists determined that the star expelled a massive cloud of material, partially hiding its light from our view. However, the star dimmed in February 2020 and has not since resumed its cycle. What we do know is that when the star recovered from blasting off a major section of its inner workings in late 2019, an event known as the Great Dimming, its surface is now bouncing like jelly on a plate and has lost its natural 400-day heartbeat, which has been there for at least two centuries. Yes, Betelgeuse is still behaving abnormally, and in the future, it'll reach the end of its existence and explode in a magnificent supernova. But no one knows when that will happen, save a team of scientists, and the explosion may happen very soon, according to them. Them. If astronomers had to guess the next nearest star to go supernova in the Milky Way, they might choose Betelgeuse, the bright red supergiant star that defines Orion's shoulder. Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its existence and is only about 1,000 light years away from Earth, but how close is it to going supernova, and will we be present to see it? Astronomers usually forecast that it'll explode within the next 100,000 years or so on a cosmic time scale rather than a human time scale, which is somewhat disappointing. However, our predictions could have been wrong and the spectacle could happen right in front of our eyes at any time. A new study by Hideo Kaseo and his colleagues at Japan's Tohoku University claimed that the star is further along in its evolution and much closer to exploding than previously imagined. But how do they make this claim? Betelgeuse's pulsation, you see, is unstable breathing in and out with overlapping overtones. Consider yourself an astronomer in the early 17th century. Because the telescope has not yet been constructed, you must search the night sky with your naked eye. Then one day, you notice something extraordinary. A brilliant new star emerges, outshining even the planet Venus for the following few weeks. It is so dazzling that it can be seen in broad daylight. It hangs out in the sky for months, gradually diminishing over time. Astronomers have been directing their telescopes towards a familiar celestial object in our spring night sky in recent days to observe a unique event, a new supernova, a star that is physically and metaphorically burst onto the scene. 
This new supernova has appeared in a galaxy beyond our own in the form of a star city. The Pinwheel Galaxy, also known as Messier 101 or M101, is a huge, loosely wrapped, spread out, open faced spiral galaxy that can be seen via a small telescope if the sky is sufficiently dark. To see it clearly, you'd need a wide field of vision and a low power eyepiece. Long exposure photos will reveal the galaxy's half dozen spiral arms. A new star appeared in some of these photos captured in recent days where none had before appeared. A gleaming new supernova has erupted in the night sky, and a telescope atop Mauna Kea in Hawaii was perfectly positioned to photograph the cosmic burst aftermath. On May 19th, Japanese astronomer Koichi Itagaki discovered the supernova among the spiral arms of the pinwheel galaxy. Itagaki, a fervent supernova hunter, has discovered over 80 of the star explosions using his observatory in the highlands near Yamagata, Japan. The supernova, known as SN 2023IXF, is the closest in five years. A supernova occurs when a star explodes violently near the end of its life. The Pinwheel Galaxy is located around 21 million light years from Earth in the direction of the Ursa Major constellation. The galaxy is facing Earth, displaying its amazing spiral pattern in almost 1 trillion stars. The spiral arms of the galaxy are filled with nebulae, or places where stars form, which are shown in pink light. The blue dots of light in the Hawaii telescope image represent a population of young blazing stars. One of the fundamental components of star formation is dark dust regions. The new supernova gleams bright blue in one of the galaxy's spiral arms at the bottom left of the photograph. Astronomers believe it's a type 2 supernova which occurs when a huge star between 8 and 50 times the mass of our Sun exhausts its nuclear fuel supply, collapses, and explodes. It is the Pinwheel Galaxy's second supernova in 15 years. Astronomers are observing the newly discovered supernova using telescopes in order to better understand how stars explode and to watch how the brightness of the explosion evolves and fades over time. The Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii's new image of the supernova's aftermath marks the observatory's first resumption of scientific observations after a seven-month sabbatical. The primary mirror of the telescope was broken while being transported in October, resulting in a chipped edge. Since then, the primary mirror has been renovated, given a fresh layer of protective coating and reinstalled, allowing the telescope to resume its quest for cosmic occurrences in the night sky. Astronomers have been seeing oscillations in its brightness over the last century, finding fluctuations of 20 days to 30 days and 185 days. Astronomers typically see the 420-day up and down cycle as the dominant and undeniable pulse, with the shorter cycles acting as overtones. The 2200-day or six-year phase is commonly recognized as a secondary period, a feature of unknown origin shared by one-third of supergiant stars. If the primary phase lasts 20 days, Betelgeuse will have 800 to 900 suns in succession. It would almost approach Jupiter's orbit if placed in the solar system. According to some colleagues, if the primary cycle is 2200 days and the rest are overtones, the star would be much more supergiant. 1,200 suns in diameter, larger than Jupiter's orbit, and because of its larger size, the star would be further along in its lifespan. Betelgeuse and other stars have short and long lives. They, like the sun, begin by fusing hydrogen into helium within their cores before quickly transitioning to helium and fusing it into carbon. Around the core, carbon is then burned to form heavier elements. Lighter elements burn in shells, expanding the star like a hot plasma balloon. CO and his colleagues use computer models to track the evolution of stars from birth to old age. They then calculate how many pulsations they should detect at each level. They discover that a breathing star in the late phases of carbon burning can explain all four pulsations from the 2200-day cycle to the 185-day cycle. After the carbon in the core is depleted, a core collapse leading to a supernova explosion is expected within the next 10 years. The study is correct, but when will the carbon run out? It's difficult to say because the pulsation periods don't change much at this late point. It's not possible to precisely estimate how much carbon is left in the core at the moment. We only calculated the time to carbon exhaustion, which is probably fewer than a few hundred years. To put some headlines in context, the organization does not believe Betelgeuse will explode tomorrow or 
even within the next decade. Since the supernova exploded onto the scene, astronomers have been analyzing it with more advanced and out-of-this-world equipment, such as the Hubble Space Telescope. Supernovae have taught scientists a lot about the universe. They use the second type of supernova, the white dwarf type, as a yardstick to measure distances in space. They've also discovered that stars serve as the universe's manufacturers. The chemical ingredients required to create everything in our universe are created by stars. Stars convert simple atoms like hydrogen into heavier elements at their centers. These heavier elements, such as carbon and nitrogen, are required for life to exist. Heavy metals like gold, silver, and uranium can only be created by big stars. When stars explode, they disperse both stored and newly generated components throughout space. The core collapses to become a solid neutron star as all the fuel is spent and the remaining elements do not make fuel. It's a red supernova with an estimated age of 8 million years that was created by the inrush of surrounding gas. It is believed to be nearing the end of its life cycle after burning through the hydrogen in its core. So we'll be able to see the Betelgeuse explosion? Show what a spectacle it would be to behold if we could live for another couple of thousand years. So do you want to journey to the other side of the universe? For now, this video has ended. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.